What would you say to the folks at home that are tuning in right now that have concerns about the spread here at home? Sure. Well, right now we've got we have, as you said, we have we, we announced this morning that we have three cases right here in, in Tyler in Smith County and they were confirmed. Uh, they all have a travel history outside the United States and we said earlier that one of them is in serious condition right now. So what do people need to do right now? Uh, people need to, you know, be mindful themselves. They need to stay home if they're sick. They need to uh, also, they need to do things like stay away from sick people. They need to wash their hands for 20 seconds at a time. Uh, they need to uh, uh, avoid touching their, their eyes, their nose, their mouth at various times. Cover their cough or sneeze. So there's basic public health stuff that we ought to do each and every day to try to work our way through this. And Trent, if, they, people, if somebody feels like they have either they've got some type of respiratory disease or if they feel like they've uh, have been in contact with somebody who has the coronavirus, maybe one of the suspect cases here, or maybe they came in contact with somebody outside the area, they need to contact uh, their provider and be seen. When they also contact their provider, they need to tell them that they need to be in respiratory isolation. So those are the things that people can do each and every day and what they can do right now to help. I think the main concern with a lot of folks, especially here in the newsroom, is the timing. You know, we got the pollen going on. Some of those, some of those effects that we're seeing, some of the people who have mm -hmm. these, they think that they might have the cold, they might think they have the flu, they think they have the coronavirus. There's a lot of concern there. We did talk about a testing center, a testing lab in Tyler. What can you tell us about what you know? Sure, so right now, so the, just go back to the symptoms. Uh, it's, it's a fever, anywhere between, uh, I'd say, uh, 100 to 102. It's also a, uh, a cough and it's also shortness of breath. Now you asked about the lab. There's the public health lab of East Texas, which just has been, uh, they've been able to uh, get start with testing here locally just in the last week. Before that, we had to send cases off to the CDC. So again, we tested uh, roughly 20 cases yesterday at the, at the lab and they found three positives. Uh, there's 10 lab, other labs across the state as, as you see there in your graphic. But again, we can do the testing here in Tyler now which is very uh, very helpful we hope that they can start doing more tests out there we also anticipate that there'll be a commercially available test somewhere in, in the not too distant future so we are making progress toward trying to figure things out not just at the nation level but here locally yes and maybe the lab testing has been one of those things of that again we've up until really this week we've had to send any suspect case directly to Atlanta to the CDC so now we can now there's 10 places in Texas we can get those done and hopefully we'll see that that uh, capacity grow in the days ahead we're seeing school cancellations we're seeing folks you know you can't travel outside of the US things like that the president's order what do you have for people who have planned trips ahead we got spring break going. What's the advice that you have coming from your office for people planning for whether it's just a normal sure. weekend going to the movies or going somewhere? Well, I think you just, need, yeah, you just need to be cautious. Uh, again, I go back to the, the basic things there. You need to, uh, you yourself need to stay home if you're sick. You need to try to stay away from sick people. In terms of travel, you don't, you need to, there are areas around the world that have already been marked off that you should stay away from. And you can go to the CDC website and see which, what the, you can check any uh, country in the world. You can also check on other communities around the country that may be hot spots for, for coronavirus. And George, we appreciate you stopping by. George Roberts with NetHealth, the CEO here. We thank you for all the work you're doing and we look forward to speaking with you in the near future as we continue to work on this together and getting the information out to you folks at home. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Tyler ISD.